Hey everyone, Ivan A here, and today I'm starting a video series where I discuss promo cards. Um, I thought that the set would be too much for me to take on right now, as well as Fetchlands or Modern Masters. I'm just not at that level yet, so I'm going to be talking about promo cards. They seem a bit simpler. Um, also, I don't see a lot of speculation on promos. You know. uh, so, I'm going to begin with Lingering Souls. Originally released in Dark Ascension, it was reprinted as a Friday Night Magic promo for the month of September 2012. Um, when this card first came out, it was very popular, very hot, and everybody wanted one. Uh, however, even though it was only an uncommon, it was very hard to pull, so it's what I call a rare uncommon. Um, kind of like the Boros charm in Gatecrash. I've bought a lot of Gatecrash and haven't pulled one yet. Um, so Lingering Souls is pretty hard to get, but when it was to be reprinted as a Friday Night Magic promo, my game shop, you know, had a handful of more people attend during that month, and when I asked them why, they said, I want that Lingering Souls promo. It is so awesome, so cool. And it was very good, too. It had standard play and black-white tokens. Uh, uh, it was, it had a lot of Sorens, Intangible Virtues. O-rings, Liliana's, it um, was very control heavy, it was very effective. I had a deck like this too, but then eventually I turned it into a junk mid-range token deck, um, and it's all standard play there too, with the Thrag Tests and Angel of Serenities and whatnot. Um, it had, what else did it have? Oh, Restoration Angels, all that jazz. Um, yeah, this card has seen standard play. Uh, not lately, however. Um, it hasn't been played very much in standard. Lately, it's been Naya. A lot of Naya. Huntmasters, uh, Restos, Dragtas, and... Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen this card in a while in a standard deck. Um, however, it's played in Esper Control for, like, Legacy and Modern more modern than Legacy, and even then players are a bit hesitant because for 5 mana I think they'd rather drop a batter skull than get a 4-1-1. Um, and also, you can only get 4-1-1 if you flash it back, and you know, someone very easily could tamper with your graveyard. So, Lingering Souls has its ups and downs, um, but I think the Esper Control decks we saw this past weekend at the Grand Prix um, could very easily fit in Lingering Souls, um, if not in the main board, at least in the sideboard. Um, so I think it could go through one more spike. Um, I picked this up for about $3 on eBay, but if you want to buy one off Star City, it's about 5 or $6. Um, yeah, also, it will be rotating out of standard when Theros comes out, and that's around... Um, very late September, so it's got about four months of standard life left, um, and once again, it might see some standard play, it might not, I think it might, so um, I'm going to hold on to it a bit longer, but if I see decks going other directions, I might try to let go of it, um, because I could probably trade it away before it spikes down. Um, I've been trying to uh, be smarter with my trades that way. I started trading only for uh, shock lands and dual lands and all the buddy lands, ally, ally lands, enemy lands. Um, pretty much want to get a play set of everything. And Lingering Souls is an awesome card. I really like the artwork on it. It's also been reprinted again in the Soren and Tybalt dual deck. Same artwork, but not foil. So, I mean, if people want their Lingering Souls, they can buy the dual deck, um, they can buy Dark Ascension packs, but for the promo, it's got style. It's classy. Um, I would say it's never going to go down below $4. It's a pretty cool card. I think it'll hold value. Um, this one's for trade. Um, Star City has it for 5 or $6, so I'll trade it for that much. Um, but yeah, if you got them, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with them. Uh, maybe hold on to them for a while longer, but 
it's going to rotate out in a bit. And if it doesn't get a big reprieve with the new Dragon's Maze cards, it's not going to see any more play. Um, I'm not sure if they'll reprint it either. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, if you want to play conservatively, conservatively, hang on to them. You never know when they might come back in a big way. Um, but for me, it's a cool card. It looks really cool. I cherish it, but I think it might be time for me to let go of it. Um, let me know what you think about this speculation. Um, let me know if I missed anything. Um, I'm pretty much covered the history of it, the future, and the present. Um, I've talked about its play in standard and other formats, and I've talked about the price value. Oh, um, also, it's gone down. It used to be more, but now the price has dropped a bit. Um, yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything on this promo card. Uh, let me know what you guys thought, and let me know if you'd like to see a specific promo card discussed in the future. So, thanks for watching my eh, attempt at this. <laughs> Hope you liked it, and have a great day.